Stay tuned for my summary of the Second Amendment rally in Virginia, coming up right after this. Hey folks, welcome to Set Apart Homestead. This is Travis here at the Prepared Homestead. So yesterday, as of the making of this video, was January 20th, 2020, and it was the big pro-Second Amendment rally in Richmond, Virginia. I'm sure most of you are all aware of what's going on out there with the uh, Democrat-controlled government that is wanting to pass some of the most draconian uh, anti-gun laws this nation has ever seen. And the people of Virginia uh, took a stand and several thousands, tens of thousands, uh, gathered in the state capitol to protest that yesterday. And uh, to be honest with you, not a lot happened. Uh, and I guess that's a good thing. There were a lot of people uh, you know, wondering, including myself, uh, would this be the start of a civil war? Uh, would there be some type of violence that broke out? Uh, or would all of these guys showing up, guys and gals showing up, uh, just be rounded up? Uh, and guess what? None of that happened. Uh, in fact, it was an extremely peaceful protest. And from everything I've read, only one person, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I only read a report of one person being arrested, and it wasn't really even uh, because of, of the protest, from what I understand in reading the article, but it was very vague. Uh, the person was kind of involved and, and was just arrested for some disorderly conduct, maybe. Uh, but if I'm wrong, uh, I'll admit it, and please correct me. I was just having a hard time finding uh, out if, in fact, anyone was arrested. So let's break this down. <clears throat> the reports are somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30,000 uh, estimated that showed up. And of course, there was the fenced off area around the Capitol where you could not uh, have a firearm. And it looks to be maybe six to 7,000 people were in that fenced off area and the rest were outside that fenced off area where they could uh, have a firearm. And there was a lot of reports from the news media and from the government that they were expecting all of these violent, uh, you know, gangs and, and crazy white supremacists and, and, you know, off the wall militia showing up. And they were expecting all of this, you know, bloodshed and violence. And guess what? It, it just didn't happen. It was very peaceful. Uh, from all the videos that I have seen and reports that I have read, um, it, it kind of just you know, was a peaceful gathering of folks, and which is what they should do. I mean, that's exactly what a protest should be, uh, is simply people gathering uh, to speak to the government and say, hey, you know, we, we don't like this. We're not going to stand for this. You're not going to, to do this, and we will not comply. Uh, and so that's what they did. Now, already uh, this morning I read that the House Speaker out of Virginia, who is obviously a Democrat, has stated that the rally did nothing to sway their opinion and that they will still continue to go ahead in passing uh, these you know, ridiculous anti-gun laws. Uh, so if that happens, and it's very possible that it will, uh, it will be interesting how all these thousands of people that were willing to come out in the cold uh, will react to that. Uh, and so I don't believe the situation is over. Uh, you know, some of the things that I wanted to note is that it wasn't just a bunch of uh, white guys that showed up. Uh, it was, a, uh, I don't know the actual numbers, but just from the photographs I've seen and video footage, there seemed to be a pretty good mix of minorities. Uh, and women there, and uh, many of those were also armed. So, you know, I think that it, it showed, not that most of the media is probably going to cover this, uh, that this isn't just some crazy redneck white guy thing, um, that there are many people out there of various color and creed and gender that uh, are not going to stand for the government coming in and taking away a fundamental uh, right that that we you and I are born with I mean this is a God-given right to protect ourselves and to defend ourselves against tyranny and uh, they 
well, you know, they get it. You know, I don't want to say that, that the people trying to change it don't get it. They get that. They understand. They know that this isn't about, you know, creating safer streets or, you know, that kind of garbage. They know what they're doing. They know that this is uh, necessary for them to fulfill their goals of, of, of creating a more controlling, more restrictive uh, world order. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, control armed people. So that's what the reason is for passing all of these laws. Um, the folks there seem to do a good job of not only being peaceful, but being polite. And uh, saw a lot of video footage of people cleaning up after themselves, uh, which is almost never happens that I'm aware of with any of your very leftist uh, protests, whether it's, you know, gay rights or women's rights or anything like that, you know, there's usually always a horrible mess left over. And I'm sure there was a mess, but it looked like they were doing a pretty good job of trying to pick up after themselves. So anyways, that's the quick rundown. Um, basically, there's, you know, I think that we've got to still keep on top of this and the folks there in Virginia and all the people involved, uh, don't give up. Don't think that, well, we've gone and we've protested and, and we've done our job and, and, and now it's time to go home. Uh, this fight is not over by, by any means. And I'm pretty sure they sat back and let this happen um, so that they could make you feel like they've thrown you a bone and, and gone ahead and, you know, the, the, the rallies happened, everyone's protested, you're going to go home and move on with your life and then we'll just continue to push our agenda through. Um, and that's what they think is going to happen. And you have to start, you know, continue to be on your toes and continue to, to, uh, to speak out against this kind of stuff and to get yourselves ready because um, whether you like it or not, they are going to continue to push these laws through. They always do in every state. Uh, while the pendulum sometimes falls to the, uh, you know, preserve, preservation of rights, um, Typically with government, it's always a moving forward motion of, of uh, taking away those rights, of, of restricting them and flat out taking them away. I and mean, that's their end goal is more control. So uh, don't think that this battle is over just because the rally went off without really a hitch. There was a lot of cameras there. There was a lot of law enforcement there. Uh, in opposition to this rally. Now there certainly were some uh, sheriffs and stuff involved in the rally uh, protesting these laws, but there were a lot of uh, law enforcement there, a lot of cameras, helicopters, so I'm sure that most everyone that attended uh, had their pictures taken and will be, um, will be recorded as, as being there. Uh, there's, I'm sure that <laughs> that was, was done. Um, so, in the end, was it worth it? Uh, you know, did, um, did you get what you wanted? Well, <clears throat> I think it was worth it because uh, it brought people together that uh, we don't see so often on our side. It's very common to see the left uh, forming these protests and, you know, these environmentalists and, and all this kind of stuff. They're always protesting something, but you don't see too many uh, on the right of the conservative mind out there standing up uh, for the actual Constitution and not trying to stand up for progressive ideas. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, I, I think in the end we, we should call this a win, uh, not for the war, but maybe the battle. And uh, hopefully uh, the fire that was started uh, in the bellies of those that attended and those that are staying on top of this will not be quenched just because it went off pretty easily. Um, you know, the, the, those that are trying to pass these laws um, and, the, and especially the ones behind those that are trying to pass these laws, the ones that's really pushing this agenda, um, they're, they're not dumb. They have a, a battle plan uh, very well laid out. I have no doubt of that. And, and they have lots of contingency plans. And uh, they know that 
while there may be little skirmishes that they lose, that overall they expect to win the battle, the war uh, against your rights. So uh, don't let this easygoing uh, rally and protest uh, cause you to just kind of say, well, it's, it's time, you know, we, we won, so let's go home and go back to work and continue on with our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, because that's what they hope that you will do. So stay in this and, and keep pushing forward and keep those people in Virginia in your prayers because uh, even if you're not in Virginia, it's coming to you. Uh, just since this has all started in the last few months in Virginia, uh, bills very similar to this have uh, popped up in many other states and several other state uh, representatives are talking about introducing bills similar to this. Um, this, this, is a, this is a big deal, and I'm quite sure uh, their agenda and this global agenda uh, for control um, has kind of been kicked into high gear recently. I mean, it's been going on for decades, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, they're ready to kick it into high gear, and they know that one of the first things they must do is to rid uh, us of firearms, of ways to defend ourselves against them. Because just look at yesterday, the amount of people that were there yesterday and the amount of arms that were there yesterday, that was a good size army. And um, they know good and well that they cannot stand against that kind of numbers, uh, you know, overall. Uh, you know, yes, they have technology and yes, they have um, nice standing militaries, but in the end, the amount of people that are willing to actually stand up, uh, it would be very difficult for them to have an easy win. Uh, they would have to exert a lot, of, a lot of energy and a lot of resources to, to completely control in that sense. So that's why they wanna, they wanna do it this way. They wanna uh, you know, just turn the heat up a little bit more on you uh, in the frying pan and, and, and cook you slowly, so to speak. So uh, don't give up and uh, and uh, keep pushing forward because the, the, this is not over yet. But hey, good on you guys out there in Virginia and other states that uh, sent folks there to support the rally uh, because you did a good job and you made a good show in. And I think those of us like myself are proud of you for uh, what you did and, and, and how you conducted yourself. So uh, thank you very much for that. And the rest of us, um, Beware because it's coming to a state near you. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.